Waste usually relates to any material that is no longer needed. Waste can be solid, liquid or gas. Every day, millions of tons of waste are disposed of in the environment. What do we do with all these waste? The answer to that question is waste management. Waste management is the collection, transport, processing, recycling or disposal of waste materials. Waste management is carried out to reduce the material's effect on the environment and to recover resources from them. The types of waste and their sources are as follows. Rubbish such as plastic, leftover food, paper, and other solid waste from the home, sewage from the home, and factories. Toxic materials such as smoke, dust, radioactive materials from factories. Pesticides and organic fertilizers from agriculture and smoke from factories, motor vehicles and open burning. Improper waste disposal occurs every day, involving instances like throwing dangerous chemical into the sea to disposing simple household battery in the bin. Some materials decay easily, some not at all. Waste materials such as foodstuff can decay. They are biodegradable. Biodegradable waste is waste that originates from plants and animal sources. They can be broken down by other living organisms. However, some waste materials such as plastic, and glass are non-biodegradable. They cannot decay. They cannot decay because they cannot be broken down by other living organisms. Improper ways of disposing waste, whether they are biodegradable or non-biodegradable, can be hazardous to the environment and a threat to human health. Some of the improper ways of waste disposal are Littering, like throwing rubbish everywhere. Open burning of rubbish and agricultural waste. Release of waste from factories directly into rivers. And release of smoke from factories and motor vehicles into the air. What if you stepped out of your house and cut yourself with a piece of glass? Or if you couldn't find a good place to sleep because your room was filled with waste? You won't feel comfortable, would you? Now, imagine how an animal feels when its natural habitat is invaded by waste. Not only waste is unattractive, it can also pose serious and dangerous threats to humans and animals. Improper ways of disposing waste can be harmful to the environment. It can cause pollution. Open burning of rubbish and agricultural waste can cause haze. Smoke released from factories and motor vehicles can pollute the air. Chemical substances and other toxic materials released from factories and agricultural activities can pollute the rivers. Improper disposal of waste will make the environment dirty and untidy. A dirty environment is unhealthy to live in. Improper disposal of waste can cause air pollution, water pollution, sickness and diseases, acid rain, and flash floods. Air pollution is caused by open burning forest fires and the release of smoke from factories and motor vehicles. Open burning of rubbish gives out a lot of smoke. Smoke from open burning of rubbish and forests can cause haze. 
Haze can cause eye irritation and breathing difficulties. The burning of fuels such as petrol and diesel in motor vehicles produces smoke and harmful gases. Smoke and harmful gases are also produced by factories. Smoke and harmful gases pollute the air. The polluted air can cause damage to your lungs and throat and it can also irritate our eyes. People who suffer from asthma are very sensitive to air pollution. Rivers and seas are dumping grounds for all kinds of waste materials. Rubbish is thrown into drains that lead to rivers. Factories dispose of waste materials into rivers. These waste materials are toxic and poisonous. When these toxic and poisonous waste materials enter river and seas, the rivers and seas become polluted. Polluted rivers and seas can kill fish. We depend on rivers and seas for food. Our health can be affected if we eat fish caught from the polluted waters. Sometimes, oils from ships spills into the seas and oceans. The oil not only pollutes the seas and the oceans, but pollutes the beaches too. This can destroy the habitat of water organisms. Rubbish that we throw away can be harmful to the environment. When we litter, we are also contributing to land pollution. Improper disposal of rubbish makes the environment dirty and unpleasant. Rubbish made from plastic does not decay when buried and gives out poisonous gases when burnt. These gases can be harmful to us. Rubbish that contains decaying food has harmful germs. Animals such as cockroaches, rats and flies are attracted to the rubbish. The animals carry germs from the rubbish and can cause sickness and diseases to us. For example, flies carry bacteria that can cause typhoid. These flies carry bacteria from infested feces to food. The symptoms of typhoid a headache, fever, loss of appetite, and constipation. Rubbish such as plastic bottles, cans, flower pots, and old tires can collect water. Aedes aegypti mosquitoes breed in the water collected in these containers found among the rubbish. The mosquito carries the virus that causes dengue fever. I'm sure you know that acid is a dangerous chemical. Acid rain? They are ferocious. Factories and motor vehicles release smoke and gases that contain harmful substances. When it rains, these harmful substances dissolve in rainwater to form a weak acid. Rain that contains these harmful substances is called acid rain. Acid rain can kill trees in the forest. It can pollute rivers and kill fish. Acid rain can make iron rust easily, wear away stones, and erode and destroy buildings and bridges. The improper disposal of waste materials into drains and rivers can block rivers. It prevents the flow of river waters. Water cannot flow down the rivers. It causes the water to overflow into the land, causing flash floods. Flash floods occur during heavy rain. Flash floods can destroy homes and property. We've gone through quite a bit on the effects of improper ways of disposing waste. 
So, what is the proper way of disposing waste? Safe handling and proper disposal of waste will protect all of us and the environment. It's really simple and we can all do it together. To prevent water pollution, we must not allow rubbish and wastewater to enter the drains, canals and rivers. Wastewater from factories must be treated. Harmful substances must be removed from the water before it is discharged into the drains. Wastewater must be treated in sewage treatment plant before it is safe to be discharged into the sea. To prevent sickness and diseases, we must keep our homes clean. We must keep the environment clean by not littering. We must put rubbish into proper rubbish bins. We should reuse or recycle rubbish or waste substances as much as possible. All rubbish must be burned in incinerators. To prevent air pollution, the amount of smoke and gases that enter the air should be reduced. Factories that give out a lot of smoke should be built far away from homes. These factories must be fitted with long chimneys. These chimneys must be fitted with cleaning devices to remove harmful substances from the smoke. What must we do to dispose waste in our local area? All rubbish must be put in proper rubbish bags which are neatly tied. Every morning, the rubbish will be transported in garbage trucks to waste disposal centres. The waste can either be buried in a sanitary landfill or burned in an incinerator at the waste disposal centres. The disposal of waste can be improved by draining away all water from the rubbish, putting the rubbish in proper garbage bins and Closing the rubbish bins with tight-fitting lids to keep pests away. Dirty and unhealthy place give people travelling through the place we live in a bad impression of the place. Waste also put off new businesses moving into your area. Fewer businesses means fewer jobs available in your area. So remember, let's work together to keep the place that we live in clean and tidy. Thank you.